Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a regularly scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Board of Selectmen. I'd like to call the order at 7 o'clock because at 6.30 we were doing the caucus tonight. So all of you should, anybody that's interested, the caucus is a way that the town of Sunderland fills its, uh, its uh, um, uh, the people that are on, on the one method of filling the ballot for their annual town, town election. So the, the, uh, if you have a desire to run for a position in the town, we have uh, Sleckman's uh, Assessor, Planning Board, School Committee Frontier, School Committee Sunderland Elementary, um, Library Trustees, Assessors. Um, if you want to run for any of these elected positions, you can see the town clerk get, get a, uh, in the next few days. Um, get nominations papers, get 20 registered voters to sign, and we usually ask for a couple, they usually ask for a couple extras in case it's a problem certifying the, the signatures, and you can be placed on the ballot. So it's a pretty easy uh, method to get it done, but the town of Sunderland's used the caucus for a number of years, and it's basically so we end up with a complete ballot and or if there's someone not running for, for an elected office, it gives the uh, town an opportunity to find people to run in. So, that being said, if you are interested in running for a position and you weren't at the, at the uh, caucus this evening, you still have an opportunity. You can see the town clerk in the next day or so, get the nomination papers, uh, get 20 signatures, and you get on the ballot. So it's pretty straightforward. <clears throat> um, so we got, we got a few things. We got an executive session later this evening. Um, uh, dealing with collective bargaining, those are um, that that's on the tap. So we'll go there first. Uh, we do have a seven o'clock appointment with Christina Johnson, who is a uh, South County Senior Center Director. But I see there's a couple people in the room, and if there's any public comment, does anybody have public comment? That now's the time to speak. Um. You, you can. The email from Ellie. No. That's Ellie. Okay. <laughs> you want, Mr. Clerk, could you read the correspondence? Yeah, right in we'll do that. Yeah, we'll. Roll right in. Mr. Helgerson, did you have anything to say? I'm here. Uh, she told me to come tonight because I have something to do with the seniors. And the, the oh, the senior center. Okay. I don't know what's going on yet, so I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for attending. Um, I need to talk to you also about the Council of Aging, so can you talk to me about that later? Yeah. Thank you. So if I could, Mr. Chair, the... Please, Mr. Scott. The correspondence uh, from uh, Gabby or Ellie Kurth. Good okay. evening. My name is Ellie Kurth, 66 Russell Street in Sunderland, writing because I've been concerned about the name of the board, quote, Board of Selectmen for some time unquote, for some time. Wondering if we could discuss the possibility of changing the name to Select Board. A friend of mine, Jessica Corwin, shares his concern, and we we're both interested in speaking with you about this. The primary reason to make this change is that the name Select Board is inclusive of all the citizens in town, whereas the name Board, quote, Board of Selectmen, excludes approximately 50% of the town. The use of the word Select Men, quote, is outdated and is from a time when women could not vote or hold a seat on the board. Further, it seems wrong to use such gendered language to describe an elected body that is supposed to be open to all town residents. Changing the name is a small but important way to communicate to women and girls they can someday run for a position on the board. It's notable that towns adjacent to Sunderland with similar government structures, Deerfield, Hadley, Leverett, Waitley, and Montague have already taken this step to call their governing boards select boards. I wondered if we could speak more about this at a select board meeting, about this issue at a select board meeting. If so, would it be possible for Jessica and I to discuss with you at the February 25 meeting? I see the agenda has already been posted, but perhaps we could speak during the public comment period. Best regards, Ellie Kurth. Ellie? Hi. I'm Tom, David, and Scott. Scott. Hey. Would you like to add anything to that? No, that covers it pretty well. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. Okay. Scott, David, you want to comment? Any comment? We agree. 
Or at least I agree. I mean, we, we actually did that for our regional selectmen's association. It used to be called the selectmen's association. Now it's the select board association. So it's just a matter of, I, I think Sherry's been looking at a lot of, yeah, it, a in order to do it, we have to go through right. a number so, of steps. Right. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Um, I, we don't, we don't have, I don't have an opinion. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't have an opinion one way or the other, um, but, but in my own opinion is that the greatest influence on anybody's life, uh, from what I've read in the thing, is the parents. Um, and I, I think your parent, the parents um, help define limitations on, on anybody, and, 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 and I would just, I, I try to say that, I mean, parents, And this isn't speaking on that one issue, uh, but to me, I think your parents have the greatest influence on a, on a person's child's life. Um, a, a father and mother, two mothers, two fathers, whatever, they have the most influence in my opinion. But back towards the, if we're a select board or select men, we are, we are a select board um, that, com that comprise of select men right now. Um, I don't have I don't have an opinion to tell you the truth I haven't really thought about it so council wrote back Sherry reached out to council and council says this is the town council AG now requires towns to do this through special legislation or adoption of a charter using an elected elected charter There's commission never anything easy never anything <laughs> easy that said assuming special legislation uh, an article be placed in a warrant or an annual special town meeting approval requires a majority vote then the approved article will be forwarded to the general court for its approval and has to do with actually the way the town was chartered I think it's important to be incorporated excuse me uh -huh. we're not a chartered town there's an incorporation process and we actually be going back and changing legislation from 1718 so that said what if they can't mm -hmm. find it they couldn't find our original charter. Yeah, so. Maybe we don't exist. Uh, there's no requirement I want for my taxes back. That explains a lot. <laughs> the last last line is there's no requirement for voter acceptance at an election. So it's not a ballot question. It would be an adoption or a change of at town or a special town meeting or annual town meeting. But such a provision is often included. If so, a question proposing acceptance of the act would be included at an annual or special election. So we have a couple of ways to go about it, and then we, I think that's part of our homework. I know this is a busy time of year. Oh, come on. It's just the budget yeah. and town meeting. <laughs> it's all good. I know. I mean, I wish I'd brought this up like last summer, and I guess timeline, we could look at whatever timeline sure. we need sure. to look sure. at for it. No, you, raise, you raise a really good point, Ellie. And I think the important part is that uh, Lauren, excuse me, that uh, Sherry reached out, touched base with the attorneys, and then there's a path forward. Yeah. Right? How do we go about it? Okay. You know, whether it's, continue, whether it's a, a piece of dialogue or whether it's a, a full on change of. Um, a, a charter for the town. I don't think we're going to be changing the entire incorporation other than maybe just the governing board. But even at that, it kind of trickles through. If you look at if you look at the incorporation of the town, where decisions you know may have been fallen, where responsibilities fall, again, that we have to see how far the word board of selectmen or the t title board of selectmen travels through all of the iterations. Right, so, right. And we have to go in all the zoning bylaws. And all like that, that stuff. So yeah. we'll, uh, I would suggest, Mr. Chair, that we, we work toward figuring out where those points of impact are and more importantly, what the decision making metrics is. Is it brought forward to the town? Town council says uh, we can do it uh, one of two ways. Yeah, I, and, and and maybe we can we can talk uh, talk about it after this. Mm -hmm. We can schedule a public hearing to get the input after yeah. after the uh, the annual town meetings and election. Sure, that that's a, a slower time, relatively slower time of the year for us. Then we can publish it and we can get we can have people comment um, one way or the other, sure. and that that we can have a good dialogue about it and and actually bring. By having a dialogue, then we it, it's easier to go to a special town meeting or a town meeting if, if we've already had a, a time to discuss it. Right. We, to it, it yeah. Sometimes bringing up something on the town meeting floor if we haven't had a mm -hmm. discussion about it beforehand gets 
sometimes we're not talking about the right things it's at that time. Right. We want to talk yeah. about the right things. Yeah. It's it's, okay. it's it's a really it's a really uh, fun and sometimes unfortunate term, but we're in, we're in the we're in the period right now where all of what we do with respect to town meeting is called warning the public, and it's kind of fun actually. It's like a warrant is that you're warning the public. Yes. All right. So anyway, Thank, goes thank it you. also goes back to the way back. Yeah. So. Uh, anything else you'd like to share with us tonight? Well, you're invited to stay if you want. We're going to be talking with Christina from the Senior Center. Um, we'll probably be back next week, actually. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you very Love much. It. Hey, thanks so much. Thank you. All right. Christina uh, Johnson um, is a recently appointed senior South County Senior Center Director. And, and we promised to we're going to take it easy on uh, Christina because this is her first budget presentation. <laughs> so... Uh, she uh why did she bring the guy from guy from deerfield well, you know, i i think the guy from Deerfield. <laughs> <laughs> he's got so, nothing else to do right, right. <laughs> not at all second meeting this week right so second meeting christina if you uh like you can uh, start we can start talking about the uh senior centered All right. So, um, yes, <laughs> the, the, there's two. There's two. This is our uh, 2020 proposed budget. Um, it's written in two different forms. Um, the one that looks like this <laughs> Got it. Um, has has the income from that we are expected to get from the major funds, the major grants that we um, apply for every year and count on to help run run the center. So, um, you know, obviously the first budget was this past year. And then it goes, well, then the first column after that is what, you know, we'd like appropriated. And then the second column is um, our formula fund money and then our SIG money. Um, and those are the two grants that we receive. Um, I have it a bit color coded on a few of the items that you'll notice. Um, red just shows there's been a decrease from fiscal year 19 in those items. Um, blue is that it has gone up slightly. Um, I, I didn't tell Christina that we only use uh, 24. Yeah. Point oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you need some glasses, Tom? We'll <laughs> this is how it fit on the paper. <laughs> Thanks for starting with six. It's good. <laughs> um, what? How much? How much detail? What would you like me to get into? <laughs> well, I, I I think you what what you what you should is you know, you should talk about where your increases are mm -hmm. and why they're why why mm -hmm. you have increases. Yes. Um, so, um, first of all, there is actually an increase in my hours from last fiscal year 19. Um, I'm currently at 34 hours um, for the next year. Um, the proposal is to increase to 36 um, with the ongoing goal to eventually make this a full-time 40-hour position. Um, there's certainly enough work to go around and <laughs> time you know I'm there anyway so <laughs> um, so that that is certainly um, one of the increases which then of course you know increases the you know the insurance the retirement the Medicare that goes along with that um, also our our two other positions in the office our program assistant and our outreach coordinator both are due to receive um, step increases in their salaries as well so those numbers um, went up slightly. The other two big reasons, um, the other two big things was there was quite an increase um, 
in the cost of electricity and gas under facilities operation for the building. Um, I went back, looked at the last 12 months, what we've been paying um, in invoices, and unfortunately it did jump quite a bit. And you know, those are <laughs> things you can't necessarily do anything about because um, other than, you know, certainly trying to use less electricity, but. Um, we also just looked at the last two, uh, the last seven months for, for current year and um, not quite sure that's going to cut it, but it's right. going to be. It's got to be where it is. We're trying to yeah. keep the budget as yeah. It's as actually possible. a low low balling the number slightly to be honest. So um, exactly, it might not even completely cover it, but it's at least closer than it was. Um, as a result, um, in terms of cutting some of the money from other facilities, we're working on hence the red items. Um, janitorial um, we're looking to change vendors or hopefully have another situ have someone else that can do it that will charge um, less and the same with the snow removal landscaping um, Trevor's actually been talking to the town and and seeing what we can work out with um, you know the highway department there and and see if with the hope, obviously, in cutting these, that we uh, will be paying less next year, because mm -hmm. um, those items, you know, we're paying a lot for those two items. So we're seeing what the town can do, basically, um, to offset the other two facility uh, operation costs of gas and electricity. Um, under program expenses, that most things stayed um, the same, um, and I and 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 that is taking into account we actually. Um, are receiving less funding in the SIG, for example, grant. I just got word last week of what that number was going to be, and it was less than anticipated. Not drastically, but it was uh, about $600 less, and that's $600. So, um, And then the formula fund, I don't know for sure. I mean, we don't know for sure. This is a pretty good guess, if you want to call it a guess. It's, it's pretty certain. But I thought that about the SIG as well, and it actually came in a little lower. So um, although what we're asking for in terms of money from the towns is staying flat, um, it's actually overall less money for some of those items. And I did cut um, equipment. Last year, um, it was approved $2,000 because we desperately need new computers in the office. Um, and that was part that was part A. That certainly wasn't going to cover everything. Um, and part B was supposed to be this year. Um, so originally I was asking for another two thousand, but I did you know decrease it a little bit. Um, let me see what. Are, oh, another change is we did in the budget from the towns were asking previously for money to cover our um, tent that we have for our three town big picnic that we have every year. Um, I did take that out of this year's budget. Um, at this point, uh, at this point, if I need to, I'll just p I'll pay it out of um, the gift fund, um, which is you know donations that come in from people. Um, you know, I'll also certainly try to raise money and such things like that first. But <laughs> but if need be, it will I will go to the gift fund for that rather than having it in our official budget. That's pretty much it for the individual items that have changed. It obviously affects the overall number. Um, it's a, let's see, yeah, a 4.6 percentage in increase, um, 3,300 roughly increase. Um, and again, that's covering, even with some of the cuts, it's, it's covering um, the increased salaries it's, and the increased uh, facilities costs for some of those items. I'd like to just say, mm -hmm. um, to back up a little bit and, and thank the towns of Deerfield, Waitley, and oh, Sunderland yes, for the large increase infusion of money into the senior center over this last year. Um, when Christina came on, we had, um, we've, at that same time, we had a uh, consultant, Diana, Diana Cornwell, look at um, our operations and how we're funding things, and we were really funding everything kind of backwards. We're uh, appropriating money and uh, spending the so whatever we got in formula fund and sick money um, 
that was kind of going to pay par the, the personnel and then it wasn't enough so then we got some money from the towns and then whatever pro it was like a backwards way of doing it so that if anything ever happened to those funding streams we had no money to pay the personnel it's really two or three people um two and a half persons um so so we've changed that whole way that we budget now to make it clearer so we can kind of get a better idea on how these how this stuff is getting accounted for. We also, you know, I've been racking my brain a little bit trying to understand, well, how do we survive all those years, um, you know, at, mm. at, at a lower rate? And why this year are we going up so much and then asking for another increase from the residents? And it really comes down to the fact of not budgeting well in the past years, and now we have a good handle on that. Um, but the other part, it's not so much budgeting well, but we were, we were using, I think, the gift fund um, as a, as a backstop instead of really looking at what your operations costs are and, and laying it out for the people. So, you know, if you use money from a gift fund, it's kind of a hidden, nobody really knows what the true cost is because you're kind of filling it in as you go. And I think that's what last, you know, past practice was. And the other major part was um, the previous director didn't require health insurance. They picked up health insurance other places. So for a year or so, um, we never included that, or that wasn't included in the budget, which was a good chunk of money, and um, uh, Christina requires health insurance and, and all of that. So that, um, that was a big jump. So between capturing all those different ways that we accounted for money before and income, and, um, and then looking at our true costs of, you know, how much is the gas, how much is the electric, getting an idea on how much it does it cost for snow blowing and mowing a small lawn and realizing this is just, you know, these gives us areas to look at other ways to do stuff and be more frugal in what we do and to actually put some of that money towards programming. Because mm -hmm. uh, if you look at the budget, you know, you've got right. personnel, which you're always going to have, and then you've got these other other uh, maintenance costs, and then you truly look at what are we doing for the seniors for programming, and it's minuscule com in comparison to all the other costs. So right. we really want to get that flop, flip-flopped a little bit and do a better job of you know, capturing that stuff. But I just did want to recognize yes, that you, you have all put in a lot of money. So coming here, you know, again, as Tom mentioned in one of the things, it's not really, we're not doing cuts this year. We're, uh, you know, we're, we're doing cuts in a way, but it's, but it's really, you've given us so much already that we're asking for increases and we were cutting from what we really need. Um, but we're just gonna, you have to sacrifice through this year and really get a full handle on what's going on. and. Uh, try to find more ways to save some money. So I know Tom's been involved in those conversations okay. too. Thank so. you so much. He explained it much better than me. No, 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 not at all. So, uh, if, if I could, Mr. Chair, a couple of questions. Yes. Uh, Trevor, uh, you had mentioned that there are a shift toward what sounds like a, a, a steadier, uh, more predictable revenue stream for the senior center. Correct. So not grant, not SIG based, not SIG, as SIG reliant, right? Right, exactly. Because so there's some volatility there waiting for grant rounds and how yes. did we do, how didn't we do and... Right. Okay. Right. That's... that's well, <clears throat> th those grants, okay, let's be honest, those grants should be going to, they, they, they go back into the they go back. They're going back yes. into oh, the, yes. their budget. They're oh, being they used. Yes, yes, absolutely. It's okay. just where we they're just not being that. accounted for in this piece of I was, paper. I was right. headed there. Okay. Yes, there's two. Wasn't was quite and there. Wasn't quite there and, yet. And that's and that's one of the that's one of the my my. Sorry, Chef. No, ahead. okay. No. There's two other pages behind that. And and that's why I put it in two different formats right. because yeah, the, the you know the basic one that you often you know see it but doesn't give you that picture at Correct. all. So right. I wanted to Revenue make sure side. you saw the sure. whole picture. <laughs> so the other question, if I could, Mr. Chair, uh, was centered around uh, the senior center staff are Deerfield employees. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so they're formulaically allocated to. Or their 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 salaries and benefits are formulaically allocated to the participating members of the South County Senior Center. Is that correct? Um, I understand that. Uh, so, so there's a so Sunderland is going to pay a percentage of the C South County Senior Center salaries, plural, right? Uh, yes. There's there's a well. So there's, there's yeah right because so, nineteen. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a formula for that. Yes, there is. It's 25, 50, and 25. Got it. Because Waitley does 25. And so we're, we have right now a piece that is additional health insurance. Again, 
I use the um, I use the the model of uh, Deerfield being the fiscal agent. Correct. Right. Yep. So the healthcare insurance is allocated the same way, same percentages. Yeah. Okay. Well. The, well, I think so. Yeah. I, that was my understanding. Mm, I don't no. know about that. That's a good question. Well, it's right? in there like that. <clears throat> so, what that's are you saying? So, if, if, you're, if you're scrolling all the budget up formulaically and yes. then distributing it across the assessment, Evenly, yes, right? It's yes, in, exactly. It's included. In it's the total, included in so. the total. Right. Yes. So, there, so there's there's a big piece. The last question I have, uh, two questions. First is utility increase. Is that by rate or is that by extended hours? Rate. Rate. Just rate. Just yeah. rate. Yes. Same hours of operation, Correct. same yeah. building, same all yes. that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Along those lines, are we prorating for space or are we covering the entirety of the building? We're only doing the first floor because the, the the basement is, mm -hmm. is not available and the top is not available. Okay. They're shut off, not, no heat. heat so, so Deerfield's picking up some cost associsated with being the building owner. Yes, oh, yeah. the, and responsibility know, for the for responsibility, the infrastructure. Right? Yes. So Deerfield's picking up a piece of that building that's not being assessed to Waitley and Sunderland. Yes. And I will say there's quite a bit because it's a very old yeah, building. Yeah, oh, So yeah. you can imagine yeah, how much goes through. <laughs> very closely at mm -hmm. a, a new space, whether okay. it be in Sunderland, Waitley, or Deerfield. And then and the last piece, as a fiscal agent, uh, and there being Deerfield staff, the step increases. Mm -hmm. How does that work with respect to um, senior center staff? Is it simply longevity? Tick, 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 tick? It is. Yeah, it's a compensation plan. So each year they have a step, and there may or may not be a COLA depending on how the town. Got works. it. So there's some tension there. You, exactly. can, you can work it through. It, yeah, similar to how we have structure at SCEMS. Got very, it. very similar. It's very good. Thank you, Mr. Chair. You're welcome. See, my, my, <clears throat> one of my concerns is that. When we, when we put numbers in, it's different than a regular town budget. Right. Because, so, it's, let's say it's budgeted for $5,000 for health care. Mm -hmm. So, Sunderland pays 25, Whaley pays 25, Deerfield pays 50%. Mm -hmm. But Christina all of a sudden hits the, the mega millions and she has. <laughs> uh, There's so, always so, hope. So, <laughs> so, she no long, so, she no longer needs. Health care benefits, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that let's say that five thousand dollars at the end of the year, if it's not used, it doesn't. Twenty five percent doesn't it's come back to Sunderland. Twenty five doesn't. Go, it all goes to Deerfield. Uh, Correct. Huh. Mm -hmm. So uh, we still haven't figured out how 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 that works. Yeah. So if you're right, if you look at the uh, if there was underspent, it would simply refer to you guys as underspent and free cash. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Yep. As so, opposed to and, and that. So because we we talked about and and it, and it get, goes hmm. back into South yeah. County EMS. We yeah. talked about also is, is about um, the town of Deerfield charges us an administrate. I'm, I'm going to say it's called an administrative indirect fee. cost. Yeah. Indirect cost. Right. And, and that's fine, except for the fact that, um, so they say, well, legal's included in that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, what if we don't use legal? Sure. Well, the bill on that, Tom, is 28 bucks. Oh, I, I know, I, but it, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm using it no, as, I know. A, as, a, as an analogy. I, I, you know, I'm not, I'm, not argue, I'm not discussing a single point. I'm, right. I'm using, it's more of a philosophical discussion. Mm -hmm. So, so... So let's say we set aside five thousand dollars, and in this Johnson said, "Well, South County should have its own legal amount," mm -hmm. and it's like, "Well, that's fine," except the fact that if we don't use the five thousand dollars, then it reverts back to free cash, not ours. I know Deerfield's the cash. town of Deerfield. Hmm. So, so the town. Hmm. So we have to be careful on how we how we budget. Right. So, so one thing was like the, and the budget was like five thousand dollars for snow removal. Mm -hmm. I think three. Okay, three thousand. <laughs> I said five thousand because it's easier for me to. I know. But, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But okay. Four thousand. It was it was five it was five thousand dollars to. Right. Here, forty five. Hey, it was five thousand dollars to rake the lawn. Right? <laughs> yeah. How's that? that? Sounds good. Okay, so Over it was five thousand dollars to rake the lawn. Mm -hmm. Well, we had a drought. Sure. Next year, and we didn't mow the lawn at all. Mm -hmm. Well, we still appropriated five thousand right. dollars. Right. So where does that five thousand dollars go? I have a I don't think the town is. I don't think the town of Deerfield's cutting 
uh, check to the town of Sunland for twelve hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, no. I may it be cost wrong. Twelve hundred to write the check. Huh? <laughs> um, I, I may be check wrong. Fee. A question for you though, because you've been doing this uh, just a, a couple years longer than me. <laughs> but could you? Four. When we talked about that, that um, almost revol huh? <laughs> the revolving fund. Um, we talked about setting up. Could that be a vessel for? I, I think we, I we have to we have to better question. understand how. Yeah, you need your own so so when I when I used the D &D. example when I used the example of South County EMS, yeah. it really wasn't apropos. How about that? Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> you got that on the table. Be, because the, the and you just thought it was a pretty face, huh, Sheriff? <laughs> um, but in in fact in fact South County runs on a revolving. So if we didn't use the five thousand dollars, it goes back into our revolving. So mm -hmm. the town of Deerfield doesn't have; Correct. they don't see it back there free cash. Mm -hmm. It's a little different with our senior center because we don't run the senior center that way That's an yet. Fund. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we still have to look at maybe there's a better way of funding the yep. senior center. So yep. Trevor, we're going to talk to Barbara and Brenda. And, Brenda. And, right, and probably hasn't done that yet. I have. And, and so we got to figure out how how the best way is going to be to do that, hmm. so that we can. Um, she said, oh, another fund. Right. <laughs> well, Accountants do that. Yeah, yeah. Like, but, uh, but I said it's important because there's you know we need to capture right you know anybody using and, space. And, and again, in in makes sense. In, in sh right, so we have we're not there yet. Hmm. Now, so I, I'm I, I would say the the South County Senior. Board of Oversight, we are, what we wanted to bring back to the towns, we we wanted Christina, not so much, uh, the budget's important, but we wanted her to talk what the senior center does, because we don't think that gets enough play. Good point, um, yep. And, and so we wanted, that's why I asked Christina to bring the newsletter so that we'd have an opportunity to re review be because if it's our opinion as a board of oversight is that if people understand how the money is being spent they're much more um they're much more likely to support an expenditure of money if they know how it's being used so that that's why you have the south county senior center newsletter um, and and I and I do think that it that's kind of important, and and Christina has been charged by the oversight board of oversight um, to 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 bring back to us how we're changing and and to show how we're improving our services too, and Christina's taking taking that um, to 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 heart, and she's and that's what she's working on now, so. And, and, and it's hard. I, I mean, and, and what we said is that we don't, we, the Board of Oversight, didn't have a problem with spending money if we can show people that we're doing it well. Smart. Yeah. Right. Right? Yes. I think we're getting that. <laughs> so, we do get, um, we do get, I, I think that personally that there's, we don't get enough good press. We, we always read in the newspapers about everybody that does things wrong, but we, we very seldom hear about the good thing that's that's happened. And um, just um, you know, the senior center. They, they've always we've always I think the seniors have always done more with less they're they're their kind of people for instance and on the front page they finally got a new floor in the second half of the of the building well how did that happen and most people say well the town just spent money and and they had everything done by spending money and it's actually the furthest furthest from the and 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 bait we had to have furniture had to be moved okay and so who moved, who, who moved the furniture? And, and, and no one knows that was a Deerfield Highway and the Frontier right. Boys, Boys basketball. basketball team. Yep. Now, of course, our newspapers wouldn't write that in the 
in the newspaper because it's not good news because it's actually good news. But if it was and 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 Thanks. if it wasn't f and and we have help many times from different frontier organizations, Deerfield Academy organizations mm -hmm. that'll come in and, and help and make the senior center a better place. Um, but unfortunately, we don't we don't we're not able to get that word out. Um, triad has been a very important mm -hmm. uh, component of what we what we do, and we can't talk about their spaghetti dinners and <laughs> as some of us have eaten there, uh, <laughs> but, a lot. but we talk we we can't talk about that and we can't tell all the people that are involved with a summer picnic that mm -hmm. that we do. And and it's too too bad because they're, we don't talk about Atlas Farm bringing right. their their goodie bags to right. every Friday, yep. to the brown bags that they hand hand out to people. So, and again, I, I there, there's a lot that you know, there's a lot that done um, that we don't hear about. Very and true. tonight was a good opportunity for that to be heard by our huge audience at FCAT's broadcasting to <laughs> far and wide because you notice the newspaper, you notice the newspaper is not here to report <laughs> on it, so. yeah. all right Christina would you like to add anything else or Scott or David do you have any other questions no, no all set. Dave, Scotty? All set. thanks Trevor do you want to talk some more I could but no <laughs> I, know. I was kind of rhetorical <laughs> yeah. got a hand up in the back Yes, Mr. Helgerson? Yeah, I've been a member there now for three years. And, and of what? The senior place. Did they, did, they, did they charge you the application fee? <laughs> um, well, Christina, make, there, make, sure, make sure you get Mr. Helgerson's application. <laughs> <laughs> they all love me because I always help the kids out. I mean, it's, it's, it's that need help in mm -hmm. the wheelchairs or something. But they always say, Steve the guy. You know, so I, I enjoy you. going there. You know, you. it's a great time. We do all kinds of activities. We go out to eat. We go to see a movie, or we go to Foxwoods. You know, we're always busy, but some people actually complain. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a couple of people for bingo, and people don't keep their mouth shut. And the lady that's doing it, I do it the time for bingo. You know, I think keep rough. quiet. <laughs> you know, I say it twice, you can't hear it, forget it. It's rolling up. You know? It's yeah, but we have people come and go. You know, it's not every day. We can get 10, 7, 14. But we have 14 people, you know? Now we got a microphone. Yeah. And then I think we should get a board to put up on there and put the numbers. Because the person and I are doing it. Yep. We have a hoarse voice trying to get done, you know? <laughs> All them out, right, right. But if we, if we can get some kind of a, 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 a little screen saying B1. That's on the well, equipment. That's you know, on the equipment. If you get a new computer, budget, you can do that. Trevor's, line budget. Trevor's <laughs> taking <laughs> care of it. <laughs> the computer but, can just read it. But, and, uh, <laughs> but we play card <laughs> games. We play right. all kind of, and we play uh, the Kino, you know. But, you know, but. It's good company, right? Yeah. But we don't have a lot of people right now. A lot of people are passing away and people are not coming. But like Dutchy, you know, he used to come a lot. And now he's in Greenfield, you know, and we don't see him, you right. know. But people have passed away in the last year or two or in the last six months. Yeah. Uh, Dottie, Dottie Stone has passed away. Mm -hmm. But it's tough, you know, to, to, to get something going. But the food is sometimes good, sometimes <laughs> bad. So, <laughs> You had right. to give him the world of difference. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so, but so I'm glad you come. I'm yes, glad you we're go. very I'm happy you come. You help people. <laughs> yeah. It, it means a lot. Yes, sir. Sure. Um, can I just say um, something about our private schools in mm -hmm. Europe? Yes, we're blessed. I actually got a message from somebody at Eagle Brook today and wants to do more outreach to us, want to know how they can help us better. Really? That's um, great. They just nice. did some bags and handed them out mm -hmm. to seniors in different places and i said what about south county right mm -hmm. are we getting some bags and they came right back at me and said we want to sit down with you and 
and find out how we can contribute more Great. to oh, the great. senior that's center. Great. That'd be wonderful. So um, we're pretty lucky to have them. Yes. Um, I think our numbers are up as far as people are coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More and more. Um, Christina started a thing where she has a monthly meeting and anybody can sit in the monthly meeting, give her suggestions, and right. everybody has input, which is awesome. Yeah. We've never had that. Um, I just want to say we're blessed to have her because mm -hmm. she's moving the center to a different level. And a lot of people are happy. Um, bingo, <laughs> I can't say too much about bingo. <laughs> we're not going to get them a, a, a microphone. One of the cordless microphones, so they all can Full horn. Yeah. You know, that's hey, not a big Sharon, thing. Sharon, you could bring John. <laughs> <laughs> he can call out the numbers. <laughs> uh, uh, actually, I could borrow the uh, granddaughter's little microphone from her karaoke. But anyway, I don't think that's a huge issue. Our, our thing is to get our numbers up, get more people involved. I talked to Tom about getting transportation from yes. Sunderland. Yes, it's a problem. That's yeah, a that's, huge issue. That's, that's yeah. one of the things that we're trying to work on. I do the triad. I'm the president of the South County. And I'm in this town with Mike Waz and other people. And we see the need. Mm -hmm. We see the people that really do want to come. Yeah. But we don't have that transportation right. to get yeah. them from Whateley or Sunland. Sure. And we had a discussion okay. about so that in the oversight problem. board meeting. Yeah. And I think that's something that needs to be worked on so, you know, in the future. Yep, yeah. it is, def definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going to be one and, of the good uh, benefits of self-driving cars in the future. Uh, People don't talk about true. that, but yeah. for senior yeah. transportation, it's going to be a fantastic <coughs> thing, I think. Yeah, that, that, that's a big thing. Um, the building itself is a big issue mm -hmm. with the budget, with the heat and stuff like that. You know, this is a big old building too, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know what you pay here. Um, we just don't turn the heat on over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we had yeah, the oversight board right, meeting the other night, I said it's a whole yeah. yeah. day. Sometimes you don't want to be the first one in the building. To that. <laughs> it's got to be below 10 outside. Then the yes. building has no heat. I, I think that we should have name tags. Yeah. Uh, who? Name tags. <laughs> Tell them who we are. Because some people come in here, we don't even know where they're coming from. But that's... Not for the budget. That's I know. For, that's I know. For but meeting. I'm saying if you come in and say, you know. who, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Yeah. You're that's for you to bring up. Know. Sure. But right. you know, even on Friday, even on Friday, Friday we have this here <laughs> for the vegetables. Some people are coming home off on the street and then taking the vegetables. You know, taking them home and they're not even belong to the senior place. Hmm. And when people can get the food, they don't get enough for them. Yeah. So that's uh, another issue. So that's a good point to bring that up in her meeting. <laughs> yeah, we need to get right, money. So you have anything else, Trevor? I'm good. I'm Christina, okay. you all set? I'm good. Scott, you all set? All set. Dave, you all set? I'm good. good. Thank you very much. Thank see you so much. Thanks so much. You. Good to see you all. Oh, yes, it was nice to meet you as well. Me too, as well. <laughs> nice seeing you again, Christina. See you Trevor. Thank you. Thank okay, you. next up is uh, minutes from uh, February 25th. Uh, motion on the minutes. Have a motion made. I'll second. And seconded. All those in favor of the 25th signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, select board updates. Scott. Uh, we had uh, frontier teacher negotiations last week. We have another one the 27th. Uh, and we are at the last two real issues. And they'll hope, we hope for some resolution. Okay, Davey. Uh, we had our kickoff uh, of the ditch committee meeting, and uh, that was good. We went over all our charges and everything, and we uh, started some work for our next meeting, which is going to be on Wednesday. And we also had a personnel committee meeting, which we started going over some of the baseline stuff for the uh, report, and they, they're correcting some, um, some data issues. And then uh, she's coming back at our next meeting, which is next, let's see, the next 12th. Tuesday, yeah. the 12th. So we'll be going over the updated, um, the baseline data on that. And then I think she'll be going over the rest of the report then, I think, right, too? Mm -hmm. So it's good. Thank you, Davey. Yep. All right, Sherry, updates? Um, I have a recommendation for the mowing bid. Okay. 
for the low bidder GBR Landscaping, who is um, currently contracted through the town. Uh, they were the low bidder. We received three bids. Good. And the total for that three-year contract is twenty-nine thousand five forty-four for the town, and seven thousand one hundred for the cemetery for a total of. Thirty-six thousand six hundred and forty-four over the three-year um, term. The way that we bid this um, contract is with um, the town's option for year two and three to renew. Very good. Okay. Uh, motion to accept the town administrator's recommendation. So moved. Second. I have a motion made and seconded to accept the uh, town administrator's recommendation on the award and the contract to low bridge GBR for lawn mowing and the town and at the um, cemetery all those in favor signify by saying aye aye next up um, is that all for your um, just updates I have prepared for you the um, updated estimated revenues um, the use of cash sheet, um, which shows what was spent at the special town meeting in the distribution uh, based on the free cash allocation um, of funds for fiscal year 20 operating budget. Okay. Um, an update on the capital fiscal year 20 capital summary sheet, mm -hmm. as well as the um, capital fiscal year 2017 through 2018, what we have done. Thank you, Sheriff. Mm -hmm. Okay, Scott, you want to comment? Davey? Um, no other comment. No, no, I'm good. All set? Mm -hmm. All right, so, uh, Sherry, I think maybe our next meeting we can uh, keep it sure. so we can uh, review all the stuff mm. for the budget next week because I think we're all done with our hearings now, aren't we? Except for schools? The schools, schools. schools. and then just the administration side, which there's really okay. no big drivers. So maybe there. we can uh, start talking about our. On the 11th, we should be in a position to start talking about the yeah. nearing, nearing the final budget numbers. Yeah. Okay. Um, resignation, Mr. Clerk. I have to say that I really appreciate uh, the resignee's opening line to the honorable board of selectmen and town <laughs> administrator. I feel, you know, there's there's some there's some there's some large, there's some large S there. Yeah, denied exactly. No, denied. Exactly. Dear town officials, I'll we'll be trying to suck up to us. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lifetime appointment, wasn't it? It's a pretty lifetime lucky. appointment. <laughs> Dear town officials, I will be retiring effective April 1, 2019. It has been an honor to serve the town of Sunderland as your building commissioner. I will do what I can to make the transition of my predecessor as smooth as possible. I want to thank all the department heads and town employees that helped me with my duties over the years. I could not have done my job without them. Sincerely, Joe Feiden Kevitz, Jr., Building Commissioner. So, Sherry, um, we have a um, process for uh, replacement. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, so the assistant's been filling in uh, while he's on vacation and stuff, and he's expressed interest. Um, he would uh, be willing to serve until the position is filled. Good. So we'll advertise and okay. Okay. Um, all right. So <clears throat> a motion for the acceptance, of the resignation. You have a second on that. I'll second with regrets. Motion made and seconded with regrets for the resignation of Mr. Uh, Joe Feitenkevich, who's been building commissioner for a while now. Yeah, exactly. All right. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 We got it, Mr. Joe. You're re going to retire. I don't know what Patty's going to say about that, but that's okay. It's get out of my house, right? Yeah. <laughs> Go to work. Do we, do we have anything else? Uh, just the timeline for annual town meeting, if I could, Mr. Chair, read Shoot. this. So, uh, Sherry, uh, has, as has been done for years past, has put out what our annual timelines are for the town meeting. The date of our annual town meeting is Friday, April 26th, 19th, 2019, excuse me, at 7 p.m. at the elementary school. So we have the whole warrant process, budget process, and that's what this backs up to. Articles are due by March 15th for the warrant. Selectmen are to sign the warrant by April 8th. Last date of mail notices to residents is actually April 17th. Warrant is to be posted by April 18th. A meeting with the Finance Committee to review warrant articles is going to be by April 22nd. 
of equal importance, the last day to register to actually vote in the annual election, which is the subsequent Saturday, right. is April 6th downstairs at the town clerk's office. Okay? All right, so we get into that season. If anybody has any question about that, you can call the town clerk. She has that, or you can call the selectman's right. office. We'll and, uh, so it's on, the and it should too. be up on our web page, yeah. yeah. if not already. So. We just have one appointment to the ditch for the ditch committee, too. What's that? And, yeah. and we have, yeah. And we have a ditch committee appointment. Uh, move to appoint Mark Benjamin to the ditch committee. Second. A motion made and seconded to appoint Mark State. Benjamin of uh, Russell Street to the Ditch Committee. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Mark Benjamin is now on the Ditch Committee. He'll be at meeting it's a number two. Slot. Be meeting number right. two. All right, all set? All set. Anything else tonight? That's no. it. Uh -huh. So at this time, I we will. I am going to ask for a motion to go into executive session. We will not be returning to open session to conduct any other business except for adjournment. Okay, so we will, wait, the laws are written, we have to leave executive session, come to open session so that we can adjourn. And this, this is a, we'll warn the public, we're not gonna conduct any business, so, the, the camera will go off and we won't do anything more except for a journey. Correct. You can trust us. Uh, Most of the guys in the back of the room didn't trust yeah, us. Exactly. Huh? <laughs> they gave us the wink, wink, nod, nod. Anyway, but that's what we are going to do. Mm -hmm. So at this time, I will entertain a motion to enter, according to Mass General Law, Chapter 30A, Section 21, Paragraph 3 to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining or litigation if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigating position of the public body and the chair so decrees. The chair so decrees, I entertain a motion. Motion. Second. We have a motion made and seconded to go into executive session. We need to go enter by roll call vote. Aye. Mr. David Pierce? Aye. Mr. Feidenkevitz is an aye. So we have a 3-0 vote to enter an executive session. So we will be recessing this portion of our meeting so that we can retire down below to the selectman's office to um, enter into executive session. Um, downstairs. Downstairs. Thanks, FK.